Welcome to my channel. My name is Arlene and today I'm actually responding to a, a New Year 2018 tag. And I was tagged by Jazz Journey and Jazz actually she has uh, a great channel. She is a beautiful uh, exotic Latin beauty. She does makeup, uh, covers skincare travel destinations and she also does uh, some movie reviews which I thought was pretty cool so visit her channel link is below as well with a whole uh, a long list of links that was posted by NP from uh, NP makeup and more she posted a long list of uh, content creators in the uh, mature community and I thought that was such a great idea that we can support one another and visit each other's channels and subscribe. So I copied her list and then I added some of my own that I that I I'm subscribed to. And if you know any more that I missed, please let me know so I can add it to my list. So I have 20 questions and I cannot exceed 11 minutes. So I'm going to try and go through them really fast, and um, I may have to skip one or two. We'll see. Number one, if you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? That would be a road trip that I took. It was just a weekend. I went to Asheville, North Carolina with my kids. And Asheville is just a really pretty town. We visited the Biltmore Estate, which we had never been to. And uh, there's been an influx of young people, entrepreneurs that are moving into Asheville bringing in businesses, art galleries, restaurants, so the town is growing and it's just a really pretty town. Number two, three words to describe last year. It was fast, it was unpredictable, and in many ways it was kind. In spite of many things that were going on, it was a kind year. Number three, something you're looking forward to this year, summer because it has been an incredible winter. Uh, the temperature has been in the teens. I think we are into our third snow, and this is Georgia. I live just outside of Atlanta, and the first snow that we got, we were expecting one inch, and we got 10. So when we moved south about 18 years ago, we were hoping to get away from the snow and the really cold weather, but I am, um, I am convinced that I need to move further south, like Miami, like South Beach. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm moving in with Sandra from Life Over 60 with Sandra. She doesn't know yet. Number four, what was your most, what was your most worn clothing item of last year? Oh gosh, my workout pants. I have three Nike pants, which are very expensive. And I only wear them when I have class. And any other time when I work out, I wear other things. But my three Nike, very expensive workout pants, yes, I have worn them many times. Number five, what are you hoping for less and more of this year? Less stressing over minor things. I need to pick my fights a little bit better. And more peace. Uh, that I can remain steadfast, constant, at peace, regardless. And peace is a choice. You choose to be at peace. Let's see. What did you do last year that you've never done before? YouTube, of course. Number seven, what was your biggest achievement of the year? Two, I have two. Number one, figuring out that camera right there. That was a huge achievement. And number two, getting to the point where I am content being by myself. I got married the first time when I was just turned 20. Uh, shortly after when I, uh, I went on the service and I divorced five years later I think it was maybe three years later after that I remarried and I was married for almost 30 years so I've always had someone to do life with I've had a partner I've had a helper and at first 
it was a very scary thing for me. Um, but I think I've gotten to the point where I am, I am happy being by myself. I don't need another person. And I think that's the place where you need to get to. Uh, that, that place where you are, you are good. If there's someone that comes into your life, wonderful. But if there's not that other person, you're great. You still enjoy your life, you do things, you get out. So that was a huge achievement for me last year. Did you travel anywhere memorable? Asheville. Number nine, what word would you choose to represent your goals for this upcoming year? I want to say limitless. I, um, I will not listen to uh, the toxic voices in my head, the self-limiting, uh, intimidation, fear, things like that. It's going to be limitless. Um, let's see, number 10. Any travel plans? Probably mostly domestic. I'll probably go up to Indiana to visit my mother and my sister. She also lives there. I may go to Virginia to visit my daughter. And I am planning a trip back to Orlando in April with the kids. Um, number 11, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Paris. And I think I, I, I got the bug to go to Paris ever since I watched Sabrina. Number 12, if you could change bad habit, what would it be? I really had to think about this. Um, honestly, I don't really have any bad habits. I did. My biggest one many, many years ago was going to bed with makeup on, which is a really, really bad thing to do. Let's see. Number 13, what change would you like to see made to your home? Well, I would like to pick up my beautiful home and move it right in front of the ocean. That's it. That's all I want. Um, number 14, what's the best thing you bought? Oh my goodness, a vacuum cleaner. I have gone through vacuum cleaner after vacuum cleaner. And this last one that I bought is probably less expensive than the others and the suctioning power is from heaven. And I, I, know, that, I know that you ladies understand. 15, if you could change anything about the year that you had, what would it be? I would like to take more short weekend trips with the kids, definitely. Share something you're looking forward to this year. Some beach trips. Um, and I would love to be able to, when I go on any of these trips, to visit and meet some of my subscribers, not just the content creators, but any, any of you who are out there who has subscribed to my channel, has become a friend. Uh, maybe when I'm on my way out of town, heading somewhere, I will let you know. And if you are uh, on my route, I can just take a quick detour and say hello. I would love to do that. Let's see. How old will you turn this year? I will be an awesome 58. Thank you. What did last year teach you? Mindfulness. To be present in the moment. To just enjoy everything right now, right here. Because, you know, it just is it's like a breeze. It just becomes a past really quickly. And not to overthink things, but to um, go for it. Take risks. Now, I don't believe in being impulsive. I believe you should do your homework, research, uh, ask questions, get counsel, get wisdom. But once all those things have been done and you feel good about it, go for it. Don't be stopped. If the only thing is that is possibly holding you back is fear, that is something that you have to push through every time. Uh, let's see, and I believe uh, some of my New Year's resolutions. Stay keto. I'm on a ketogenic diet. I want to stay keto. No cheating ever because that stresses your system. Uh, let's see. I would like to extend my intermittent fasting. I usually do 16 hours and sometimes 18. I want to push to 20. And um, I would like to begin at some point 
having some fitness videos uploaded to YouTube. I'm still thinking what exactly it is that I want to do and um, I want to hold on to joy. Not happy because happy is dependent on happy happenings. I want joy so that it does not matter what is going on around me, what storms uh, may be blowing, that I can just remain in joy and at peace. And that's what I want for this year. And I believe that is it. So I hope you have an amazing Friday, which is today, and an awesome weekend. Thank you for subscribing if you have already. And if you have not, please subscribe. And you may want to watch the next uh, video that is going to pop up right here. So have a blessed weekend. Kisses to my children. I love you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.